Migrants packed onto a New York City sidewalk outside the Roosevelt Hotel on Tuesday. The Roosevelt was repurposed specifically to shelter new arrivals, but it's run out of room. A sign reads, we are currently at capacity. New York Immigration Coalition Executive Director Murad Awada says conditions for the migrants are far from ideal. And over this past weekend, even through the heat uh, wave that we witnessed um, and the massive thunderstorms that New York City got hit, people were still left outside and having to continue to wait as placement was made available for them and some folks being there over 24 hours and so on. And it's just not an unhealthy, it's, it's not a healthy position for folks to be in. New York City says it has provided services to 90,000 migrants since last spring and that nearly 55,000 remain in its care, while an average of 300 to 500 people arrive each day. Thousands of those migrants arrived on buses sent by Texas Governor Greg Abbott, a Republican who has tried to shift the burden of receiving them to Democratic strongholds like New York. More could come after a federal judge ruled last week the Biden administration's new asylum restrictions violate existing law. However, the current regulation was left in place as the administration appeals the decision.